I go straight to Trendwave. We've got Elizabeth Musa in the house. What's good, Lizzie? What's new? What's trending? What's happening? Very good morning to you, Joe Oluchi. So let's start with what is trending today, which is exactly in Emo State, where a video which is making the rounds since the weekend shows a former speaker of the Emo State House of Assembly, Mr. Chiji Collins, angrily pushing down the table and ready to fight after a member of his constituency queried him on his lack of performance. This incident happened on Friday during a meeting between Chiji and the people of Isia Lambano State Constituency. Now the commotion started at the meeting when the constituent member pointed out the failures of the lawmaker, also speaking, asking the former speaker, Colin Chiji, to give reasons why he was asking for another term when the support given him in the past years has yielded no political result. Now let's check out this video. He was making a speech that day. Mumwa didn't the studio up. Say day, Raza. Stay that life for eight four years. And when he managed him, and when he checked with the government house, he asked me, yes, I checked with the party. I'm tired of it. Then when he managed him, I will get a try in him. And no back after the money you go. It's okay now. Again, you have come back. Then tell me, I want to stop. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. He was making a speech that day. Mumwa didn't the studio up. Say a day, Raza. Stay that life for eight four years. And when he managed him, and when he checked with the government house, he asked me yes, I checked for the party. I'm tired of it. Then when he managed him, I will get a try in him. And no back after the money you go. It's okay now. Again, you have come back. Then tell me, come. I want to stop. I want to finish. I want to finish. I want to finish. That's my state of know, origin, and it's pretty close to my local government, Isiala Mbano, um, where that happened. And it, it is a sad situation. A lot of our lawmakers, not just in southeastern Nigeria, a lot of our lawmakers in Nigeria and Africa in general, they're there to represent the people. They're there so that the people can feel their impacts. But if the people don't feel their impacts, that's the reaction you will get, literally. Hmm. That's well, let's check out some of the comments and the reactions that people have made about this ever since it started. Now that's Monial. Monial says more party members, political players advocating for proper leadership, saying no to campaign benefits and tribalism, are just wanting the best for themselves by putting forward credible candidates. This country would get better then. Dishonesty, tribalism, hunger and greed is the reason why Nigerians vote in, vote in leaders solely because of the campaign hampers or, or campaign soundtracks. And it's not good for governance. That's how Monia feels about that situation. Now, that one is from Regent Stone. Regent Stone says, this is the way the youth of every state should stand for their rights. I agree completely. Simple. What are you going there to do again after four years of serving and doing nothing? That's a big question right there. And this one is from Just Bay. Just Bay says, that's the way to go. Youth arise. I'm all for youth arising. I'm all for youth challenging the status quo. And I like that. 
comment from Bunchy World. Bunchy World says, it did absolutely nothing. I salute the young man's bravery. And that's how people are reacting to that particular video right there, ever since it surfaced online, Joe Oluchi. Mm, that's, that's a deep one. I mean, it, it takes a lot of courage to come out and uh, speak bravery, and talk boldness, about the way you yes. feel. Well, I think a lot of youth need to do that more often. You need to come out and say your mind as it is to the lawmakers representing you, irrespective of the constituency. Absolutely. So let's go to something lighter right now. So I'm back again with another etiquette for the ladies and the gentlemen by the popular chef turned etiquette instructor, Winfred Manuel. This time around, it's about who makes the orders, who pays the bills, and some general dining etiquette. Let's watch this video. Did you see that last one? It says he pays the bills with his with smile, smile on his face. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> but this particular video, I don't think will go down well with the feminists and even some more men. But let's check out some of the comments before I come back mm. to you, Joe and Oluchi. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a comment from Cox Baby. Cox Baby says, who sets all these rules? Thank that's you. a big Let question right you. there. Big question Cox uh -huh. is asking. And that one is from El Fertina. El Fertina says, feminists will not like this video. Exactly my thoughts. And we had more reactions on that one. That one is from, my name is Onye. Onye says, a lady can take her order if she wants to because she's not dumb. She can very well communicate to the waiter herself and she can pay the bills or split it and still be a lady in caps. <laughs> so that's how people are reacting to that one. That one is from Lulu Okafor, and that one is from Umpuruma. Umpuruma said, that's if all men can be this gentle, though, but I still advise ladies, make sure you get some cash on you when going on a date, and mind what you order, so it will not be too much for the guy. We had more reactions on this one. It was, a, it was, it was something. This one is from Lulu. Lulu says, God bless you, because I don't understand this misognistic and outdated beliefs that Z is trying to peddle in 2022, and she thinks it's right. Imagine believing these harmful notions that we are not ladies if we choose to sim simply order or pay or open doors for ourselves. God forbid that our daughters grow up with the mindset that they are not ladylike or good enough because of the actions of the opposite sex. That's Thank how you. Lulu of Apple feels about Thank that. You. But we like that last part, which is the build, the build, the, <laughs> the build. If you but like, that's what is like trending. It, it will put you in trouble. I mean, see, see, like men it. are trying to treat us as ladies, and we're saying no. What do we even want? Please, as you tell please, me. I have a problem. <laughs> why, why will you tell the man to order your food? Because he's the one paying the bill. That is not what oh, it came Oluchi, out across. you have a valid argument eyes. right he's there, the but I'm wondering why the, the I'm problem. wondering why the menu comes to you and then you have to look at it and then pass and then it tell on the to man. the man. Okay, wait, wait, we go well, out now. So, so she's telling us that's the lady like Hold thing on. to do. Nobody and this is the period where we're talking about gender equality. So what's the equality there when we're still thinking that the man has the upper hand? The man is going to pay my bill for me. You're telling me I shouldn't do that. That means at the end of the day, the man has the upper hand. I last... better go if that will create peace and I'll... allow you to put my bill. Baby girl, I will hold I'm my peace it. in this discussion because if I should go in, let me put it. my peace on the table. I would have loved you to go in, but that's <laughs> it's all right. See, if you don't get it, forget, forget about, about it. it. <laughs> because if I go in, it's going to be a problem. How can you how can you say at the end of that video, you know what? Don't Baby let bill. the lady pay. You know, pay the bill with a smile. The... Eh. Smile. Just, just, just smile. I don't have a know? problem with paying the bills, but yeah. don't make it an option don't make it a a, a, a full uh, don't make it don't make it stand as the as the right that this is it when you go out with a lady always make sure you pay come on i mean there are times so how about you go the dutch part, how about the part where she spoke about 
you know, a man not handling his phone on the table. I think it goes both ways, not just the man. I uh, think the woman also should not no handle that phone. Have look at their time. I've not seen people go to go with their phones. Mm. Anyway, but she's doing a great job cooking. I think this etiquette thing for me, I mean, just take it easy. Every every culture. Culture Am I just be trying reflects. to get conversations like this? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's fine. <laughs> what I'm do not we buying say? It, <laughs> jo, jo is not buying into not it. Buying I'm it. buying some parts of it. I think all of it anyway. But <laughs> thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for bringing the latest when it comes to trend. It's always a